So as you mentioned, so Barr's, Barr shows up tomorrow. There's going to be two days of testimony uh, about you know, 24 hours after this reported Mueller letter dropped. Uh, but uh, as you know, the Barr, Barr says he's not going to show up for the second session if Democrats don't back down on their demand for like an extra hour of questioning by lawmakers and, and committee attorneys. So Jerry Nadler is saying, well, Barr, as in the attorney general, just not going to have a choice, Newt. Well, of course it's not up to the attorney general to tell the committee how to conduct this business, or uh, we will decide uh, what the most effective way of uh, asking questions are, and we, that's what our decision is. If he doesn't show up on Thursday, we'll have to go to subpoenas. Well, I guess bring it. We'll see you in court. Yeah, look, I, 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 again, the subpoena normally is unenforceable. Uh, you can't, they're not going to be very effective in subpoenaing the attorney general, and they end up looking a little, the more they do this, the tired of the country is going to get. And in that sense, I think Trump has a shrewd understanding that if he can get the Democrats into publicly being so focused on this kind of game, uh, that the country will begin to be very tired of the Democrats as people who aren't trying to help solve America's problems. And, Newt, uh, I have to ask you about the timing of this leak tonight of the <laughs> Mueller letter to Barr which is being completely mischaracterized. People are frothing at the mouth at the other networks. And they're like, oh, well, look, Mueller was telling him he's, not, he's, he's mischaracterizing the report. It's so patently ridiculous on its face. Like, Bill Barr would totally misrepresent the report that was about to be released. It's crazy. But what do you make of this timing of the leak? Well, I assume somebody wanted to leak it to maximize the embarrassment to Barr and to set up the questions for the hearings the next two days. You know, look, the, the, the deep state in Washington has played these games for the whole history of the country. Uh, this is not something new. Uh, both Jefferson and Hamilton used to subsidize newspapers to attack each other while they were both serving in, the pres in President Washington's cabinet. Uh, so we've had a long history of this stuff. But I think, again, it's one of those places where, after all the noise, you just shrug your shoulders and say, so what? Uh, Mueller had every opportunity to come out the day that Barr released his letter. Uh, Mueller could at any point have decided he wanted to refute it. And as I understand the actual key sentences, uh, the distortion is by the news media. Right, that's the what he The distortion is on. not by Barr. Yeah, he, so, and, he, and he said, I don't disagree with your, <laughs> he said, I don't disagree with the outcome of your, of your synopsis, but it was the way the media was pounding, pounding, no, pounding. Laura, but Laura it, think, think yeah. about this, though. The media that Mueller's complaining about are the people who are now using Mueller's complaint to try to further distort what's going on. I mean, yeah. you, you couldn't make this up. Hey, Newt, I want to congratulate you. Your new book just out today called Collusion. It's a novel. Everybody has to read it. I and think they'll not, find it's it It's not about Mueller. It's not about Mueller. But it's, it's so typical Gingrich to just time it perfectly well, we got, we with all lucky. the news. Oh, we got no. lucky. Congrats, Newt. We're all, we're all reading it, and I tweeted about it today, and we're going to have you on the podcast. So thank you so much. Thank you.